Today's gonna be a good day, everyone. As you can see, we're in the middle of swapping tires. Because we wanna get stuck. Get stuck. Today's gonna be a good day if all goes well, though. If we can get out of the driveway. If we could get out of the driveway. <laughs> Roads are clean, though. It's just the driveway is uh, full of snow. We already did this side. And I forgot to press record. everyone this is how the car should go up the hill so that's how it should go up the hill but we're gonna try to Camila and see if that even like is remotely close to what's gonna happen there you go Try not to spin and you'll be good. <laughs> there we go. Also, what the fuck? Let it hang Are you those people I just does this until it grabs? <laughs> <laughs> I am <laughs> A little breezy out there. It's only uh, sunny, degrees. 75, oh 38. That was negative zero with the wind chill. <laughs> that was so funny. Humberto, tell the viewers what the heck we are doing today. Uh, we're going to the track. Hopefully it's open, uh, but we don't know. So we're winging it, driving an hour to see if the track is open. Hell yeah. I really hope it is. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just gonna go out to eat and find some other fun stuff to do. So, unlimited budget. You have to choose between, your, okay, you're building a race car. Okay. Unlimited budget. You have to build either a WRX or an STI. What color would your Evo be? <laughs> White. <laughs> what got you into cars in the first place? Okay, better, better question. Not in the first place. Why do you like cars? Like, what uh, joy do you get out of this? Honestly, the adrenaline rush of driving. Like, and I, I wasn't into the cars. I was into the trucks before I was into the cars. But we always had trucks, and then we got a diesel truck, and then that was decently fast at the time. Not anymore. But like, <laughs> you didn't know what fast was. Exactly. And but. then, and then I bought um, the Cobra. Right? Well, actually, before that, I bought a Saab. And that was, like, <laughs> fun, right? I bought the Cobra after that, and then I was like, oh, damn, like, this is fun. And cars have so much more potential than trucks do, you know? Especially, like, driving-wise. Like, sure, yeah. trucks can be Not fast. Even no. But, I mean, you can make a truck fast. In, in a straight in, like, line, yeah, but, right? like, you can't, but you a can't car make it compete with a car on is, in is, the turn. Yeah, yeah, physically, the car has the advantage every time. And so... Then I got into the Mustang, modded the Mustang, and then that was really fast. And yeah, then the BMW and... So I guess to answer the question though, it's you like the adrenaline rush. Yeah, I like the adrenaline rush. I do too, it's awesome. And I, I feel And like if I, I don't get an, an adrenaline rush, it's like, nah, not yeah. worth my time. Yeah. You know? And like, I don't know, I just like being in control, I guess. Like driving, just in general, I like driving. And, and it's a form of freedom, so I like could not wait to get my license. <laughs> you know, like I was just like free to go anywhere at any time. Hell yeah. So 
so to me it was like the the fast and furious well, I mean it's kind of cheesy but it's true to me on Tokyo Drift yeah when Sean goes drifting with his girlfriend or whatever yeah and he's like why, why do I never see you drive and then he's like so what why do you like drifting and she's, or I don't remember exactly how, yeah. but it's like the it's the moment you know there's no past no no future no problems just yeah. the moment yeah and like to me that's really a major part of it like stuck yeah, that definitely. quote like stuck with me you know yeah it's because it's that feeling that you get it's like the sense of freedom happiness no worries in the world i mean you can get it with other things but i like the car stuff I've so always... do I. And, and the car too like what it's like there no matter what exactly. ups and downs like you need something to spend your time doing it's like a positive way to spend your time yeah. no matter where you're at in your life exactly i love the cars me too and like you could change them you could really like you can express like we were talking last video your personality through a car so like just like how you dress like that's your personality it's like the same thing with the car so yeah. hell yeah it's pretty awesome in my opinion thank you good yeah. answer Thanks. i dig it <laughs> so we just drove by the track and yes. unfortunately it is closed so now we gotta find something else fun to do with our time yeah. <laughs> Dang it. We really wanted to go just to get a baseline number of what, like, track time at our local track, you know, to see what our car does completely stock. And then, because obviously we're going to stage two, two in the car, and then stage three, and so, so on. We're going to modify the car. We want to see how it improves on the track, but unfortunately they're closed. So I guess we're just going to have to get baseline numbers at stage two. Bummer. Oh, well. Another day. Put it on my tab. <laughs> yeah, put it on my tab, whatever. You might be thinking, the ST has a four-cylinder, right? Great gas mileage, four-cylinder. Not! It took $15 oh, yeah. to get to freaking junction in an hour. <laughs> Almost five gallons. Stock-ass car. Stock-ass yeah. car. Yeah, this thing's a bit of a gas puzzle. Jesus, my Mustang gets better gas mileage than this thing. Come on, baby. Guy, yeah. I just was like, Let's go, baby. There we go. Wow. Three days later. There we go. Freaking. 42 bucks later. Oh, okay. Well, 41. 41 dollars later. We made it to Grand Junction. Damn. This thing was expensive. What are you doing to a bridge right in the Subaru? Launch the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is all about Ryan too. That shit's in a little bird. Oh man. <laughs> you gotta launch it once at the light or something. At the light. <laughs> Why not? You gotta find a better spot. No balls. Oh, no balls. Here, there's people in front of us. <laughs> Wait for them to get a little head start and then you can oh, launch it. <laughs> You're the worst. Huh? I'm the worst. <laughs> we just did a burnout. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a ghetto smoke behind <laughs> You burnt the clutch, that's what you did. <laughs> no, you can feel it spin. This, yeah? Yeah. It smells like clutch, so hard. Yeah, it does smell like clutch. No more lunches, but we need this to last another week. It's okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back. Uh, Super race. exciting day. Didn't race. We went and ate. We drove to Grand Junction. Had went out lunch. to eat. And then came back. <laughs> um, Killing it. But we, we uh, put our yeah. our white BBS is back on. We got ready for tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? We're going to Denver tomorrow for the weekend. Why would we be going to Denver? Because we're gonna dine with the car. Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a bet too. So right, we made so a bet. 
on. It's like a four way. Well, with some friends, regardless, yes. we made a bet on stock horsepower, stage one horsepower, stage two horsepower, and stage two dyno horsepower. All dyno horsepower. All dyno like, horsepower. All like wheel horsepower on the dyno. Yeah. Um. I gotta say, I think I'm gonna win, but Kyle. I think I'm gonna win. It has some really good guesses. <laughs> Shout so. out to Poncho. You're you gonna lose. Gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to Denver to get a baseline tune right now while the car is still completely stock. While we're there, we're gonna install the access port and do a stage one tune and see what it makes. Stage one? Stage one. And then we're gonna come back, put our exhaust. Exhaust intake, three port boost controller, blow off valve maybe. And then we're gonna go back to the dyno and do our stage two tuning. I wanna break 300. On the stage two, dude. I want to. I just don't. We're gonna don't break three hundred. We'll happen. just turn <laughs> that thing right up, dude. <laughs> turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> so. It's unacceptable. Yeah. Anything under three hundred. <laughs> Why just come back and be like, well, we made two eighty. <laughs> so yeah, that's what our our current plan. So we'll bring you guys along tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, like and subscribe if you like our content. Because we're going to continue to make more content because we're having fun with it. So, Humberto and I hate this emblem. So what are you going to do about it, bro? We're going to take it off, dude. You know, I'm going to teach the people how to take this off. Everyone, you need, you need to know how to remove your emblems, right? Debadging? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What exactly. tools do you need? Hammer? And a chisel. chisel. <laughs> <laughs> So what you do is you place a chisel right here. <laughs> oh, hold and, on. Let me get a better view. Yeah, yeah. And then, basically, you like, you know, just fucking. <laughs> no, no, that is not. <laughs> not that crazy. <laughs> just kidding. Also, uh, we, we do, do hate that emblem. We do hate the but emblem. But it's bolted on, so we can't take it off. Because then there'll be then holes there'll be there, holes in our trunk, and then it'll look worse. So. So we're Kinda stuck with the ugly ass, ass emblem. <laughs> do not take your emblems off like that. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Unless you want to. Mm. Screw it. It's your car. You can do what you want with it. <laughs>